Hey everyone, this is Harsh Bhardwaj and welcome back to another video by Simply Learn. And in this video, we'll learn about C++ Visual Studio and how can we perform some programs in Visual Studio. Now Visual Studio is an IDE that is an integrated development environment from Microsoft used for developing computer programs, web apps, websites, etc. It includes compilers, code completion tools, graphical designers and many more tools which helps in software development. It is one of the best code editors for developers and designers. So without further ado, let's begin. So the first thing we need to do is to download Visual Studio from its official website. So we will search Visual Studio on Google. We will search Visual Studio. Now we can open any of these two links. We will click on the second one. So this is the official website of Visual Studio and now we can click on this download for Windows button which is blue in color. So when we will click on it the computer will ask if to download it or not. So we will click on download now. Now the downloading is start. So it will take a while. The size of the file is 76.2 MB. The download is almost done. and the download is complete. Now we will click on this open folder. It will open the folder where the setup is. Here it is. Visual Studio Code User Setup. So now we have downloaded the Visual Studio. Now we have to install this. So we will click on this. So this is the license agreement. We will accept the agreement and we will click on next. And now we can change the destination folder if you want but it is not necessary and make sure that 294.3 MB of free space is there in this destination folder. Ok now we will click on next. And now again we can click on next. We don't need to change this one also. Now these are some additional tasks. You can check any of them as per your choice. I will click on these and now we will click on next. Now there is an install button. Now we will click on this install and the installation begins. and the installation is done and here we can check this launch Visual Studio it is already checked and when we'll click on this finish the Visual Studio will launch so this is our Visual Studio code this is how it looks like so in this top left side this is the activity bar which lets you switch between views and this is the status bar which tells you this one is the status bar which tells you about the open projects and files you edited and this is the editor where you write codes first of all we'll click on new file so now this is the editor where you write codes and edit files etc you can open as many editors as you want and this is the explorer which is used to open manage all files and folders in your project you can create, delete, rename and move the files etc. And you can start immediately by opening a file or folder in VS Studio. Then this is search. Search provides the global search across open folder. Alright now this is source control. Source control includes git source control by default. Run and debug displays call stacks and breakpoints. 
then this is the extension extensions we can add extensions by installing them within the VS code and if we want to do a program of C++ then we have to configure the Visual Studio code and for that first of all we'll click on it, these extensions and now we'll search for code runner this is the one we'll click on that and now to add the extension we'll click on this install button and it is installed now as we have installed this extension so let's do install another extension that is C slash C++ here it is so this extension is by Microsoft so we'll click on this install button and it is installed as you can see downloading C C++ language components so it is in the process and it's done uh, this extension will help us in debugging and code browsing so now we can start with our C++ program let's close this and this as well alright now we can start with our C++ program so first of all we'll create a new file we can create it by going to this file and now to the new file and that's how we have created the file so I have showed you how to create the file now we can save the file by going to file again and save as now we can set the location so let's name this file now uh, let's say calc.cpp because we are going to do a calculator program so let's start first of all we'll write hash include our stream which is the header file now we'll write using namespace standard which is the namespace standard after that we'll start with int main and inside the int main we'll declare the variables first of all we'll declare a variable of type character and its name will be sim that is symbol then we'll declare two variables n1 and 2 let's make them float because the numbers can be of decimal form so we'll declare them of float data type all right now we'll display a message we'll display enter the symbol of the operation that you want to perform because we are doing the calculator program so that is why we have to ask the user to enter the symbol of addition subtraction or whatever the operation he or she want to do so we'll start enter the symbol of the operator that you want the operation that you want to perform all right now we'll take the input of the symbol so we have declared sym symbol now all we have to do is to take the input of the operators or numbers so we'll display a message please enter the numbers and now we'll take the input of numbers and one and two. Now we'll use switch statement and inside the switch statement we'll put a condition that is our variable sim 
and whichsoever case of the switch case matches with that sim variable that particular case will execute so we'll write sym the name of the variable sim and now we'll create the cases so the first case would be plus if the sim variable is plus symbol then then we want to print the addition of those two numbers so let's do that first of all in order to make it look good we'll write like this and two now we'll simply add those two variables all right this is the case one now case two would be subtraction we put the minus sign all right now we'll do the same for this one n1 subtraction symbol we are writing like this because we want to we want the output to look good it's your choice now we'll write n1 minus n2 now case 3 would be multiplication and one variable multiplication sign and two variable equals sign now n1 multiply by n2 the last case would be division so n1 division sign n2 equal sign semicolon and now we will divide n1 and n2 we forgot to do one thing guys to write the break statement after each case it will end the case after its execution we'll write break with a semicolon all right now return 0 now i'll explain this part one more time this sim is the symbol that is entered by the user that is the operation which user wants to perform and whichsoever symbol matches this sim like if it is addition subtraction multiplication or division whichsoever symbol matches with this sim that particular case will execute like if the user have entered the symbol of subtraction then this case will execute and if the user have entered the division symbol then this case will execute I forgot to do this over here that is why it was showing the error and over here as well so yeah so this is how we can write the program of calculator so now let's try to run this one okay so first of all before running this program we have to save the file we'll go to file click on save 
and it will get save you can do this by pressing ctrl and s at the same time as well all right now we'll try to run this program by clicking on this play button we have clicked the button all right i got the error so we did something wrong we have used double quotes let's make it single quotes and now save it again by pressing ctrl and s at the same time now let's try to run this once more time here we can see enter the symbol that you want to perform all right now let's try to enter the symbol I'm trying to enter the symbol but it is not taking any input so this is a problem which can be solved by going to the file and now going to the preference selecting the preference now we'll click on settings now over here in the settings we'll write run in terminal now we'll scroll a little and here we can see code runner run in terminal so we'll tick this one and now we can cross it and now we'll save this one by pressing ctrl and s and we'll close the vs code editor all right now we'll again open the code editor now again we'll try to run this one so let's click on this run button here we can see enter the symbol of the operation that you want to perform so let's say i want to do addition so we'll click on the addition symbol here we can see we can enter now as we have done the changes and we have closed the vs studio once and again open it so the changes are made now we have entered the plus symbol now we have to please enter the numbers so we'll enter the numbers let's say 10 plus 76 as you can see 10 plus 76 equals 86 now let's try another one Now I want to do a multiplication over here multiplication symbol please enter the numbers let's say 5 into 20 which is equals to 100 this is also correct so this was an example of a calculator program that we have developed in Visual Studio Code and it is pretty easy to develop and create project in Visual Studio Code. You can try some other languages on Visual Studio Code as well. So this is the way how we can download, install and configure in Visual Studio and do programming with these. So that's it for the tutorial. I hope you got the idea about C++ Visual Studio. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.